a farmer's cornfield, wind turbines in a Midwest field, trees and flowers of a beautiful residential neighborhood, the cozy sun space of a home in winter. All of these areas depend on the energy from the sun. Apart from the natural energy produced by the sun, what kind of energy resources are you using every day? Natural gas, coal, electricity? Where are they originally coming from? How long do you think the fossil resource on the earth can last? Do you think it's possible to not use fossil energy to keep warm in the winter and cool in the summer? A home consumes energy in many ways. The majority of energy is used for the cooling and heating of the home space, water heating and lighting of the home. In residential spaces, cooling and heating accounts for about 38% of total energy used. Water heating is 13% and lighting is 9% of a home's energy. A home can gain heat in the summer and lose heat in the winter. But how does this occur? It all relates to the movement of the sun and the way the house is designed. The sun's solar radiation travels through outer space towards the Earth. As it reaches the Earth, it's partly absorbed by the ozone and clouds and by the Earth's surface, which conducts heat to the air close to the Earth's surface. The solar rays also go to the surface of our homes directly, reflectively, or diffusely. Solar radiation penetrates inside a house through windows by direct transmission and through walls by conduction, producing heat for a house. In summer, the ambient temperature is higher so a house is warmed up by the ambient air through heat conduction and by solar radiation. During the winter, the ambient temperature is lower so a house loses energy to the outside and gains energy from solar radiation. No matter the season, as long as there is sunlight, houses gain solar energy. What changes significantly is the solar altitude angle. Here we have a home warming from the sun's rays in the summer at 10 a.m. The height of the sun measured upwards as an angle from the horizon plane is called the altitude angle. The altitude angle together with a value of azimuth, which is the angle related to the southerly direction, specifies the position of the sun as seen by us at a particular point on the Earth's surface. In the summer, the Earth tilts the northern hemisphere towards the sun, so the angle between the solar ray and horizontal projection is greater. During the winter, the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, creating a lower solar altitude angle for northern residents. Because of the different altitude angles, in the summer, direct solar rays can be avoided by closing window shades. In the winter, leaving window shades open allows more solar radiation to penetrate through vertical south-facing windows, warming up the interior of the home. Indoor solar heat is mainly stored by materials with large heat capacity and then conducted to the air. During the summer, a home does not feel cold, but in the winter, a home does get cold. Why does this occur? This question involves construction quality, building materials, and heat transfer. Let's talk about it in the next chapter.